Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Clear. Today is day 12 of the Shiny Professor Oaks hunt, where we are collecting every single shiny Pokemon available to us before the first gym badge. And because Pokemon Crystal Clear is so dang awesome, every single Pokemon is available before the first gym badge. So here we go. We've already got our one in three, 171 odds for Sandshrew because we changed a bunch of them. We fainted a bunch of them in a row all the way up until 250 and now we're just rolling the dice to see if we can get that shiny one so hopefully we get this one really soon and we can start the chain for our next pokemon which i believe are both nidorans uh coming up next and the nidorans are going to have a better odd chance uh because they are in the safari zone they will have a maximum of one in 252 so maybe just maybe it's going to be a little bit of a shorter stream and therefore a shorter vod uh, because I have to get things ready for my absence uh, being out of town over the weekend. But uh, let's get cooking here. What's up, Cosmic? What's up, Dorito? I think it's Spider-Man without thinking of Elsagate. I have no idea what Elsagate means. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, my appointment... My appointment was at 3.30 uh, for, for Bonzo to take care of him. And I was like, oh, okay. So the stream's gonna be like an hour late because every single time I have gone to this vet, I have waited a maximum of five minutes past my appointment time for them to like come in and be like, hey, whatever, you know, I'm the nurse and I'm just gonna ask you a couple questions. Then they leave, then the vet comes in, they do the thing. <laughs> the, the nurse did not come in until 3.55. <laughs> Oh my god, and that was that was really something. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Can I undo that? Alright, well, timer's gonna be fucked up, but that's okay. We lost five minutes. We'll make sure to tack it on at the very end of the challenge. Anyway. I, uh, yeah, I don't plan on looking it up. I am very excited, uh, to at least retroactively see this announcement. That's going to be coming on Saturday for Crystal Clear. I look forward to it. Time to put the old armrest down on the chair because we're getting comfy. This is the first time in a while after all the baby Pokemon that we have to deal with these odds. Technically, we dealt with these odds when we did Elekid and Tyrogue, but we also had two chances because we had the one in 1024 when we talked to them. Plus when the shiny engaged. Also, it was a static encounter, so soft resetting was a lot faster, whereas I have to sit here through every single animation. I think what I need to do actually is make Snorlax the follower because the follower entering the battle has a faster animation than uh, this. And it's not like Pichu is getting extra ha happiness right now anyway. So we're gonna have subscribe at our back again. Didn't know this is what my audience looked like. Crazy. Actually, yeah, I did. Oops. Thought I was on Pokédex. There we go. Pokémon. Nope, you do not have Sweet Scent. You do. All right, let's do this thing. Get this shiny and get the hell out of here. Wow, that is a significant amount faster. Do, 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 Nope. Oh, all right. See you later, Sandshrew. <laughs> you didn't have to die, but I guess you did, because that's what led to the end of the battle <laughs> that time. We're almost at 100 seen Pokemon, which you guys can't see, but on my screen I have the... Ability to see one DV off. That was a 10 10 0 10. If it was a 10 10 10 10, would have been a shiny Pokemon. That's the only reason I have the the DVs on on screen at all. <laughs> Those are the little numbers underneath the wild Pokemon. Are the DVs. I actually think someone in the Crystal Clear Discord was watching one of my VODs and then asked that question. So this challenge is really getting around. Which is crazy. 
Bum, 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 bum. Super Saiyan Sand True. We got another triple S Pokemon here. Oh, Anzo left. He's mad that uh, <laughs> we sent him to get a shot today, I guess. Now, we wait. My guess is we're going to get it before 600. However, I think the worst... The worst we've gotten, I believe, is still Squirtle. Squirtle was at like 700-something encounters. Which was over odds. Hopefully that doesn't happen, though. Oh. What happened? Oh! Interesting. Alt on the keyboard pauses the emulator. Yeah. Now I know. I don't know for what reason I would ever want to pause the emulator, but I'm glad that I can, I think. Shout out to the lurkers as well. Again, I apologize for my tardiness today. Nothing I could do about it, though. Bonzo had to get the rabies shot. Because it would be really bad if he did it. <laughs> I have almost considered with this challenge, like still recording, but maybe doing attempts off stream. I don't know though. It's just not as fun when it's not, uh, not live. I mean, who knows? It depends on how desperate I'm getting for the challenge to be done. Whether or not I do some, uh, offline attempts. Yeah, and I think about it like it'd be lame if I just went, Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Welcome back. So I got ten shinies off screen. I'd still have all the recordings, so you know it's legit, but yeah. Be kind of rough. It's just a shame when days like this happen, where I have to start the stream an hour and a half later. Because life sucks sometimes. And it doesn't help, because Bonzo's due for even more shots. Uh, not later this month, but next month, I think. Really draining the wallet. It's my, uh, I guess it's my annual sign that I know it's fall. 8, 15, 10, 8, 10. That is another singular DV off. Thank you. Two, one DV off, Sandshrews, so far. I, I do have a feeling we're getting in the next 10 minutes, though. So. Like, it's... It's right there. Our, our gray boy. Or is he blue? I don't even know. I can't tell. On my screen, the... Pokemon is too small, so I can't really discern the colors when they're that close. I don't know why I took so many pauses between that sentence. Within that sentence, anyway. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, beard is looking okay on stream. I trimmed my beard and, um... Say we just had a couple accidents. <laughs> but they're hidden over here. Or are, are they over here? Oh, they're definitely over here. Okay. So they're within camera shot. But if you just you don't look at it too hard, it's fine. 
Of course. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, what's up, Starisma? How you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Did uh did Chillmo go? I don't have my notifications for Discord on. Okay, cool. I did. I just uh don't have Discord. I should actually close it completely. So I don't get all distracted. We are almost at 50 hours on the challenge. That's going to be happening in the next couple days. Crazy. I think it'd be really stupid. But I almost kind of want to do a 24 hour stream. Of <laughs> shiny Professor Oak. Dude, that'd be... That'd be so bad. We'd get so many shinies, though. That VOD... I'm trying to think back to... Because I did a subathon... Last year? I think it was last year. I did a subathon, and those were 15 hours. And I'm trying to think of how big the file size was. At 15 hours. I think it was like... Gosh, I think it was like 200 gigs. So a 24-hour stream would be like 400 gigs. I mean, with fiber internet, it'd probably upload in like an hour. But goddamn. That'd be a lot of footage. I would probably also have to liberally use the replay buffer on that. Because there's no way in hell I'd be downloading that video. For footage later on. It does make me kind of curious, though. I wonder if folks that do, like, Professor Oak's challenges and stuff, like, how exactly they keep and store all the footage. Like, do they upload it to YouTube, delete it off their computer, and then download it to YouTube when they need it? What's up, J-Rox? How you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. Tuesdays are for Pokemon. You're right. It is being a little difficult. I mean, it's uh, it's full odds. Well, full odds for us, one in three seventy-one. So, uh, Squirtle was also a one in three seventy-one, and it took seven hundred encounters. But Sandrew might be the next worst. We'll see. I am trying to think. I do like the separation of having... Of having Pokemon on Tuesday, Thursday. I've been thinking of maybe, like, doing a Nuzlocke for something. Like, I could do Crystal Clear in Nuzlocke mode, I guess. But maybe, like, an official Pokemon game in Nuzlocke mode? I don't know. I don't know if folks really care about regular Nuzlocke, though. I mean, that doesn't really affect. I'll just play whatever I want if I want to play it. Because I know the hardcore Nuzlocke. I'm actually surprised that the level cap rule is not normal Nuzlocke rules. I learned that recently. That's strictly in the hardcore Nuzlocke rule. I think that the level cap is a really neat idea. And I kind of wish it was just a feature in Pokemon games regularly that you could turn on and off if you want a level cap.
Nuzlocke in a randomizer? That's like... That's insane. <laughs> like, I know there's already some an insane ROM hacks like Run and Bun and stuff that make Nuzlocke like next to impossible. But if you're talking about just like Nuzlocke a randomizer, I guess that's essentially what the Kaizo Iron Mon is. It is kind of insane how... How ridiculous you have to stack the game against you, though, to make Pokemon super hard. Because I feel like... I feel like nuzlocke just a regular Pokemon game with, like, your standard Nuzlocke rules... It would be a little bit different, but it wouldn't be... Like, you'd maybe lose one or two Pokemon. I guess it's also, a Nuzlocke really is about knowledge. Like, obviously you still have the random chance of critical hits and paralysis and stuff, but... Actually, in Nuzlocke's, are Switch? Is Switch allowed? I know in Hardcore Nuzlocke, it specifically has a rule. Or at least in videos I've seen with Hardcore Nuzlocke's, having it, having battle style on set is a rule. I would imagine that's just a regular Nuzlocke rule, right? What's up, Amazon? How you doing today, man? Bum, 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 bum. Randomizer that's not a Nuzlocke. I gotcha. Randomizer bingo. Sounds really cool. Oh, you started classes yesterday. I thought you were already in session. Well, here's here's to another great school year with my undisclosed diet drink. Forces a ton of grinding. Yeah, I guess because if you want to safely not lose your Pokemon, you just uh, you speed up on wild encounters and stuff. That's cool. It's, it is weird as an American. It's very weird to just be like, oh yeah, we just went to this other city. <laughs> because the nearest city to me is like, I mean, I guess an hour away. So that's not, that's not uh, too out of the question. Can you drive Amazon? Do you have your driver's license? I would imagine in Europe, having your driver's license is not nearly as important as it is here. Oh right! This is your first year of university. Gonna do some yoga. Getting you nice and stretched out before you get stressed to the bitter end. When you get to design your own game. It's when reality strikes. Until like 2032? Wait, what happens in 2032? Do they just say, yoink? <laughs> Do you... Do you suddenly uh, get cured of your autism in 2032? Or do you have to like, I guess, re reapply for it? <laughs> oh, looks like you're healed. We'll just be taking that. Yeah, that's fair. No, I know. I know it doesn't just vanish. I played it up for comedic effect. 
Speaking of playing things up for comedic effect, actually, this is sort of tangentially related. So, on the main channel, after I release the keyboard video, um, the keyboard percent video for PO6, a bunch of my shorts just randomly started taking off. And I made a bunch more shorts, which I, which I talked about, uh, which I talked about already on stream. But one of the shorts I made, like, six months ago in regard to doing cave launch has gotten a lot of attention. And probably now, like, a third of the comments on that short are roasting me and calling it bait because 06 does not have physics. And I gotta say, it's one of my favorite things because I then reply to that message saying, you're right, because I'm not talking about 06. I'm talking about Project 06, as it says in the caption and in the voice over and in the subtitles. <laughs> and then they go, oh. <laughs> YouTube shorts comments are simultaneously amazing and also just absolutely baffling. Um, actually, what really surprises me, I guess, I guess it's just because I'm out of, I'm out of touch with like what happens regularly in YouTube shorts and stuff because I don't consume YouTube shorts. I only make them. And I've noticed with YouTube shorts, it doesn't happen like at all with YouTube videos. But with YouTube shorts, I see lots of comments about getting baited. And I'm like, I have never once made like a video unless it was for a joke that intentionally baits people. <laughs> but I guess on shorts, like I guess when you're a shorts viewer, you don't really know that because you're just scrolling through and you just see this random guy. Cause it's not like even if you're subscribed or you like watch everything that I make, it's not like you're seeing stuff all the time. <laughs> that was a Super Saiyan Sand Shrew. That's true. Remember when I said we were gonna get the Sand Shrew in the next 10 minutes? Yeah, that didn't happen. I gotta stop making these bets, because it's not like it actually happens. Also, hello, Philip. I'm gonna actually defend YouTube comments. I think a lot of times there are folks that have legitimately interesting things to say or critiques or something to add to the video. And like, I'm glad that they are there. The only problem is you have to filter through all of the other stuff. <laughs> because there is a lot of garbage, but uh, the insight that some YouTube comments have, I think, are really beneficial. And if I really cared, I'd just turn them off on every video. That- that is the sad part. As I've talked about many times, YouTube Studio makes it so easy to see every single comment. I wish one of the filters was just like... Filter out, like, potential spam. Or, like, filter out comments that are only one sentence long. Or something like that. <laughs> filter good comments. Who knows? Maybe that'll be a thing one day. That is insane, j <laughs> Oh, man. I think I said this in the last Pokemon... Uh, last Pokemon Day 2. But there was this- Oh, God, I can't remember the quote. I think Wolfbeat. I think it came up because Wolfbeat quoted it. That it was like, You motherfuckers... You motherfuckers have had too much, uh... Animity? I think that's the word. Like, you've had- You've had too much of the pleasure of being able to say some- horrendous shit and not get punched in the face for it. <laughs> it's like, I love that quote so much. Anonymity? 
Yeah, I guess, but not necessarily like being anonymous, more the the pleasure of being able to say whatever you want on the internet, I guess, is more what I'm saying, which isn't entirely true, but. <laughs> Interesting. But that's also the thing that the negative comments are overblown because like I said, those comments of like, oh, this, this video is bait, it's like maybe a third of the comments. So that means there's two thirds of comments that aren't that. And there's also a shit ton of likes. Like the video has a 98% like to dislike percentage. Which is insane for short. Shorts usually have like a 95% like to dislike percentage, at least in my experience. Whereas videos are higher. Yo, let's go, Amazon. He's becoming an internet legend. The pleasure of saying what you want on the internet, it really is a pleasure. Like, it's... You get to just say what you want. And, um... Like, not only do you get to say what you want, it's you get no repercussion for it. Like, what's the... What's the worst that can happen if you just say something fucking nasty online? You get banned. That doesn't actually affect your life. <laughs> Unless your life is, like, what I do. But if you're- if you're just a person, you know, you go to your traditional 9 to 5 and come back. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Philip. What's up, Vilas? How's it going, man? Welcome back to the stream. Also, very exciting news. Not even tangentially related, this is just unrelated entirely. But I've- I've, uh, this week I've started placing the footage, so what I've been doing is I've been trying out, not necessarily like this new video creation style, but I'm sort of like, this is my first video I'm making where I'm running through it with this process. So last week, all I did was fine tune the audio, like the voiceover for the video, and then this week I'm just placing the footage. Like, I'm not editing it, I'm not doing anything, I'm just making sure everything jump cuts properly. And... The... The dopamine boost... When you write a joke that you're not sure how it's gonna translate into the video, and then you see the joke in full, and it's actually funny... Let me tell ya. One DV off once again, that's three sand shrews that were one DV off so far in this session. We've encountered like 220 of them. Is it funny though? Look, I hate listening to my voice. I've just gotten extremely used to it because I have to hear it all the time in order to make shit. But the very first watch through of it, uh, of that joke, I laughed. Expect a stinker, what do you mean? Are you telling me you haven't given me a loud exhale on any joke in any of my videos? I find that impossible. I wouldn't be surprised if there's even been a chuckle. There's- there's nothing left in there. <laughs> You're right. I need to start being more hip with the kids. I can say skibidi brain rot and then uh post a gift at like 400% speed of uh moist critical like running around his room or whatever because that's what's funny, right? <laughs> I've just, I've noticed that in like the couple Discord servers I'm active in, that that's like the funny thing to do now. If you say skeevity toilet, I am mass reporting. 
Anyway. Super Saiyan Sand Shrew. Bro, if you got a lisp, that is quite a sentence. Which I think I have a little bit. I got a little bit of that southern twang. Or maybe it's the two brain cells, which... Don't go entirely. Don't go entirely separate from each other, yep. Definitely the two brain cells. They're both on overtime right now. <sighs> if we're expecting any stinkers, the sand shrew is being a stinker. Can see the gears turn. If I wasn't wearing headphones right now, if I just <sighs> smoke just comes out. Oh my gosh! This could not be a. Uh, that was two DVs off. Four cannot be a shiny DV on attack. Come on, Sandrew. I know you're out there. Let me move on. That still reminds me of all the pre-Avengers Endgame stuff. Of, uh, like, analyzing the trailer. And just being like, that was Thanos' voice that said that. Do, 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 do. Ugh. It's gum time. What's up, real gamer of days? Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe is a representation of all of you in the game. Nightbot with the shill, let's go. Really? Are his videos that boring? Yo, let's go, Philip with the shill. That's my moderator. Doesn't he get like millions of views on it though? On them though? Like they're not boring to a lot of people. Do I get paid now? An exposure? Does that work? That's a long tunnel, J Rocks. It's okay. You'll start making the big bucks when I do the month of shadow. Yeah, I'll be doing, um, where I'm just gonna mod. I'm either gonna mod shadow into a bunch of Sonic games or I'm just gonna play Sonic games with shadow in them. You know how there's a mod for Adventure 2 that puts everybody in Rouge's outfit? Is there a mod for Adventure 2 that puts everyone on Shadow's body? <laughs> Shadow in Super Mario 64. I know there's a Sonic one. Subscribe to both your channels. Let's go, Gamer of Days. Glad you enjoy the stuff. No, you can't interest me. I do really like how Shadow looks in the Sonic Boom series, though. I'm subscribed. Huh, that's interesting. My subscriber count didn't go down. I keep using Sweet Scent so I don't have to move. Sweet Scent, also in this ROM hack, if you've never played Crystal Clear, you can do exclamation mark CC to get a small blurb about what Crystal Clear is. Uh, one of the quality of life things is when you're chaining a Pokemon, which is kind of like the Pokewalker. Uh, Sweet Scent maxes out the encounter rolls, so you basically encounter it every single time. 
It's true, I don't want to move. I want to get the shiny Pokemon is what I want to do. Do, 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 do. And Amazon, let's be real. We don't have to pretend like you're actually subscribed. <laughs> it's true. Dude, 300 subs. Not only will we get the stage mod, but I'll do a face reveal. get a refund for your months of subbing? Uh, no. No refunds. I'm like Marcus from Borderlands. You know what I'll do? Just for you guys? I'll keep that a secret, actually. Though, I'll do something fun on Pokemon Days. Uh before Sonic X Shadow Gens comes out. Ba -da 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 -da. Morning, Tails. How you doing? Yeah, it almost slipped up. <laughs> See, here's what happens, is your second brain cell gets gained when you turn 25, and that's your frontal lobe. So, one brain cell keeps you alive, while the second brain cell makes decisions for you. Bit sick! Oh no. I hope you get better. Have some of that chicken noodle soup. Always makes me feel better. Cooking stream? I don't have the setup to do a cooking stream. We need to start, uh, vlogging, probably. There it is! The first brain cell makes you breathe. Correct. Yo, I'm doing a predict. We're doing a predict for before 700. Make sure to vote in the predict! Use those juicy, juicy rings. Differential equations? Ah, you think I remember differential equations. That was a, uh, that was a class I took in college that I did not give a fuck about at all. And unfortunately, it's really easy. Because my advisor, when I was a senior and was doing my capstone, she saw that I got a C in differential equations, and she went, You got a C in differential equations? Come the fuck on. <laughs> No, nah, there's no spoiler message. There's gonna be a Shrek rave? What? Is it just the Shrek is love, Shrek is life dance remix on repeat? Vote in the predict, vote in the predict. Thank you, Violas, I appreciate it. Still got time. Bow in the predict. Shiny before 700 encounter. Yeah, she did. I mean, it's college. Like, it's like an official thing. It's too bad we don't have instant access to the entire well of human knowledge. Unfortunate. No, I told her that I didn't care. Because I really didn't start taking my studies seriously, which is hilarious as a math major. I didn't start taking my studies seriously until junior year, and I took that class sophomore year. Hey, what's up, Lima? How you doing? I also had really good rapport with my advisor. I think I was actually... 
her last, because she was the head of the department, and I think I was her last student to do my capstone with her, which is kind of cool. Some Google searches, we don't want to be looking at Lima's autofill, that's for sure. That's true, you don't want to get that data collected. Huh? Me? You have a BS and MS in math? Dude, congratulations. Not a fucking chance I could have gotten a master's in that. I was way too dumb. I think I was able to finish college with a 3.0 major GPA, though. I ended in total with a 3.33, I think. So I was very happy to have a B average in my major. Oh, I believe that. Haven't had math? No, Philip, you're gonna forget the Pythagorean theorem. I do remember, though, I do remember legitimate use case of the Pythagorean theorem. I remember helping my dad. I think we were building something for, it was like my mom's church was like doing a big event thing and we had to build like a, a catapult and I was helping my dad with it and he was like, hey, Noah, my name's Noah, by the way, if you didn't know that. Hey, Noah, uh, I need to know, like, what's the length of diagonal of this square? And I went... Pythagorean! <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I can use the Pythagorean theorem! <laughs> this is unbelievably excited. It was so good. I don't know if I have any better way to end that story, but I used Pythagorean's theorem to figure out how long we needed the the brace to be for the diagonal. That's how the story ends. It was so exciting for me. I've always known math is neat beats. What do you mean? Well, I'm your favorite Pokemon streamer. That's so nice. So you can call me Dr. J Rocks. Yeah. I mean, if your Twitch name was Dr. J Rocks, I would still call you Dr. J Rocks. You don't need a PhD to be called doctor. Just look at Dr. Disrespect. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's something in like coding and and everything. Just having those those mini epiphanies being like, "Oh my god." Yo, that's cool. Man, I haven't heard fucking Pascal in a long time. I don't even remember what that is. Because I'm a fucking nerd. I mean, my dog's name is Bonzo, named after John Bonham's nickname. From Led Zeppelin, so... Yo, believers, I think... I think we might need to talk. Now, actually... I mean, every single Sandshrew does have the exact same odds. So Sandshrew 626 here has the same odds of being shiny as Sandshrew 699. So maybe it's not all, all for nothing. But this is where we start going like, yeah, do shinies even exist? 
Can we even get shiny Pokemon anymore? Bongo. That's what that is. Yeah, I can't remember what class it was. It was probably... No, it wasn't College Geometry. College Geometry was the... I think the coolest math class I took. Because we got to rebuild geometry from nothing. Well, rebuild... Euclidean geometry, anyway. Our final for that class was also really cool, too. Because it was such, like, a small niche class. Um, which you had to take if you were going to be a teacher. Which, at the time I took it, I was still going to do teaching. Uh, the final was super cool because he... Our teacher literally... Uh, two weeks before uh, the semester ended, he gave us five proofs and said, prove three of the five of these before the end of the semester. And they were hard, but it was really cool because we, like, worked on them together as a class and stuff. Dude, proofs. Very, math very quickly turned into an English class <laughs> in college. That's, that is the main reason that I got so annoyed with the, Wait, aren't you a math major? Can't do mental math. And it was like by fucking senior year, math was just completely different. <laughs> Compared to fucking multiplying numbers in my head. This has been The Math Rant with Stelmo98. It reminds me of the uh, Sonic short of like uh, Fireside Chat with Omo Chow or whatever. Come on, Sandshrew. I wonder if the believers are starting to sweat yet. I'd really like to get more than one shiny this stream, Sand True. Let's let's make it happen, man. Yep. Basically. And then you just go back and look at what folks understand as math and you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> and I technically don't have 17k subscribers. I have like 22 between both channels. I'm actually curious as to how much there is an overlap between the two channels. Because I don't think I can... I don't think I can look at it and be like how many subscribers of one channel are also subscribed to this other channel. My guess is of the, how many? I think I'm at like 4,500 on the main channel. 4,700. I bet of the 4,700, 2,000 of them are also subscribed to the second channel. But I don't care, baby, it counts anyway. <laughs> Double counting, folks, it's beautiful. Yeah, 
yeah, in terms of unique subscribers, probably somewhere in like the 20,000-ish. Which is cool. Very thankful for that. Now we just gotta multiply that shit by five at the end of the year and we're, we're home free. Some math major I am, truthfully. I'm a math major in diploma only. Got some razor burn underneath my neck here from shaving today. Uh, there are occasional times where I wish I couldn't grow a beard. I am very thankful that I can't grow a full beard though, because there are some poor saps out there that grow facial hair, but it looks like shit. What color temperature of your average indoors setting is? Hmm. I don't know. Well, if 273 Kelvin is zero Celsius, <laughs> what is room temperature in Kelvin? I bet room temperature in Kelvin is 330. How close am I? On a name? Uh, I don't think so. Oh god, Sandrew666, that would have been foreboding. In Kelvin? 330 Kelvin is lethal? Two seventy three to three thirty. Yeah, so like three around, so it'd be like 350, 350 Kelvin. Because if it's 73, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, 343, I was pretty close. How was that lethal? <laughs> Give me a minute, Stomo. I'm gonna prove why you're wrong. If Galvin is Fahrenheit plus 273, then 343 would be room temperature. Oh, interesting, Philip. I didn't know that. So Galvin is Fahrenheit minus 273? That doesn't make a lot of sense. Or does it? Odds are looking good. Odds are looking the same as it always has. The F minus, the F minus 32 times five ninths converts it into Celsius. So we'll take this then. So if room temperature is like 20 degrees Celsius, so like 293 would be room temperature Kelvin. They look good for you. Well, get some new glasses because 
Shiny Sandshrew's coming in at 697. This challenge has been going on for 43 hours, yes. Across all of the streams. This has not been 43 hours of continuous streaming. What's up, clown? How you doing today, man? Oh, did we have a Super Saiyan? I missed it. What's up, Dark? How's it going? Welcome, everybody. Again, I apologize for starting the stream late today. But Bonzo had to get that rabies shot so he doesn't die. Or kill anyone else. I'm pretty sure for si like, uh, science-wise, it's used as well. Watching the Grand Tour? What's that? I'm glad to see my mods are just copying each other. It's beautiful. Ah, oh, the British Car Show! Oh! Are there any cool cars? Or do they all suck? No, the timer only goes while I'm doing the challenge. So today is day 12. And the timer runs during the stream, and when I end the stream, the timer stops. And then it starts again with the next stream. So in total, across all 12 days, I've been doing this for 43 minutes, 21 hours. Give or take probably like five minutes. Because it's not exact. I've heard of Top Gear, don't worry. I didn't know this chat was full of car junkies. That's interesting, I would not have guessed that. You might be thinking of Metal Gear? I don't know if there's a Top Gear. Bum, 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 bum. I talked about this yesterday, but why not talk about it again? Uh, I am a streamer after all, that's what you do. You just talk about the same topics over and over again with a different set of people. But I started playing through Spider-Man PS4 again. <laughs> and uh, man, have I, uh... oh, here's our shiny. God damn it. Anyway, that game, that game is pretty hype. I, uh, I have, <laughs> I hate with open world games. I basically completely forgotten everything except for the story. What's up, Harry Burger? Yeah, it's so good. All right, this one does count. This does count for the believers. Oh, Sandshrew, come on, man. Uh, paying out the doubters. We're gonna throw the believers a bone here. We're gonna do shiny. Next one is shiny before 900 encounters. I did, I did kinda, I kinda cheated the believers a bit on that first one. But the moment I saw, I didn't even realize, when did it, when did it come out? Spider-Man PS4 came out in like 2014, right? Twenty seventeen? Oh. Twenty eighteen? When did this game come out? <laughs> to Google. Bum, ba -da -da, ba -ba -da -da -da. I guess it's just set. It did come out in twenty eighteen. Okay. Cause in one of the uh in one of, like, the backpack tokens, like one of the little pieces of memorabilia you get, it has an expiration date of 2015. It's like a pass or something that uh, Peter had. So I thought the game came out in 2015, and I was like, wow, this has a lot of open world elements that predate, like, 
the major open world games, <laughs> like Breath of the Wild and stuff. But no, it came out afterwards, so never mind. Still my most prized possession, and my always advocating for there's no reason to buy a game within its first year unless it's unless you have FOMO or if you're a content creator. Because I got Spider-Man PS4 in 2020, and I got the Game of the Year edition for $20. So the game with all the DLC for $20. And that's why, that's why I'll always advocate. Only reason to buy a game brand new is FOMO, or if you're a content creator. Or if you participate in a giveaway, but I guess you're not buying the game like that. Any doubters? Come on. Let's see, this prediction, what is going on with this prediction? Vote in the predict, you slackers. I know there's some heavy hitters. This is just Pokemon, so I can pay out the predict, so mods feel free to juice up the pot. That's what I'm talking about. Who's doubting right now? Who's got the 20k in doubt? I bet it's Philip. There it is. I knew it was Philip. A meager amount of my funds. This dude's got stacks on stacks of rings. Oh, I forgot to add the uh, the light redemption back. Do I actually still have that or did I fully delete it? Uh, channel points. Oh, I'll manage the power ups, haha. <laughs> I did delete it. Let me, uh, let me add it back. I thought that was the shiny, the shiny sand shrew for a second. Make it just a measly 10,000. There we go. Wait, what? Wait, what happened? Why is it 3,000? I set it to 10,000. Oh, this is the old one. I did have the old one. I think. Is it there? Yes, okay, great. Custom redemption alerts, yo. Oh, I need to add another one to the counter as well. Yo, what do we got? What's in the pot right now? Oh my goodness. Feel positive I'm gonna get a shiny? Well, I certainly hope so. Uh, I believe, let me, let me check when Squirtle was. Cause this might become our worst shiny that's not Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur doesn't really count. Um, where was Squirtle when we get Squirtle? Squirtle was 754 encounters. So Sandshrew is coming up on our, our worst uh, shiny encounters. Why a new stage mod for 300 subs? As an incentive to subscribe to the channel. Before I added sub goals, folks asked for a long time to have them, so I have them now. And back when I made that sub goal, we had like 280 subs, but then 
a bunch of gifts from over the summer. Vanished. Poof. Because unfortunately, I'm not as good as I, at my job as I thought I was. I'm still learning. Aniv, what are you talking about, dude? Tough angle to this? What does it mean? So I had a live bomb behind him as a sub. Interesting. Uh, what's that in Radiance? <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> uh. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, you could have just Googled degrees to radians. I hope he doesn't. I don't know how he'd have access to that info. I wonder if that would like get Twitch shut down. Maybe. Pride rule for Google? Well, take 62.33. And then is it pi over 180? Or is it 180 over pi? I think it's pi to, uh, divided by 180. Go from degrees to radians. Well, it'd actually be over for the entire world and the government would scramble to change them. Oh, Matt stopped being fun when it got a little hard. God, what a softy. That's gonna be clipped and go. <laughs> Dick joke. And there it is. Oh, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree now, does it? When math started having numbers and letters, it was over. Over for the common man. We are officially over Squirtle. Sandshrew is the worst shiny hunt we have had since Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur has four times the odds. Uh, actually, Bulbasaur had three times the odds that Sandshrew has. Or, I guess three times worse. If, it, if it's over Bulbasaur, then this is bad. Man, if only Snorlax didn't have to be shiny. Bum, bum, bum. 
bum, 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 bum. Wow, 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 don't make me pull out the Blink-182 parodies again. Once, um... Once I realized how the Pokémon sprite palettes work, that... Every Pokemon in Generation 2 has four colors, white, or technically no color, uh, because it's against the white background, black, and then two custom colors. It's so weird to, like, look at Sandshrew, because all of Sandshrew, like, bottom half of its face and its body are just hollow. We're just looking nice. at the background. <laughs> it's crazy stuff. Gormless Horse, thank you so much for subscribing for 27 months in a row. Thanks for keeping that rainbow gem alive, man. And I appreciate that Twitch Prime. I only got one of those. Appreciate you using it here. Enjoy it for another month, dude. Always appreciate the lurks. Where are you? Sand Shrew. Hour and 12 minutes, no sand true coming. I'm really hoping the Nidorans are fast, man. We don't have, because from here until probably the legendaries, we're going in dex order. And we don't have, we don't have another Rock Smash Mon until Geodude, whose dex number like 70 and sand true is 26, so. Or I think it's 20. It's either 26 or 27. I think it's 27. Because we could choose 25, so Raichu would be 26. All right, enjoy your dinner, Vilas. Hope you have something tasty today. Sand true, bro. I'm ready for the safari zone. Where are you? Bum bum ba da 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 da. We got Elegant and Tyroke so fast. This was Sandshrew 777, and it was a Super Saiyan, so... Not all bad. Uh, that's misleading. Uh, that had one shiny DVs. One shiny DV, anyway. Bum, bum, bum. Is this gonna be our first sweet scent mon to get over a thousand encounters? It could. It very well could. The luck is horrific today. We are over odds, by the way. I'm currently running with a one in 371 chance for shiny sand true here.
two DVs off on this one. We've still only seen three Sand Shrew that are one DV off. There is a 50% chance every roll. Either it is shiny or it's not. <laughs> I'm annoyed with the same true too. I don't know, Cosmic. I don't know. The shiny the shiny odds are not with me today. We are at max chain, right? I haven't been Oh, whoops, well. I'm like 99% certain we're at max chain. Now we're at max chain. Bro's just not appearing. Maybe he's just waiting for the nice even 800. Sandshrew is a cute Pokemon, I'd agree. A little hitty? What's a hitty? Oh, Heidi. Okay. That makes sense. How was school today, Cosmic? Where is Sand Shrew? Where is Sand Shrew? Went by so fast, that's good. That means things were either fun or incredibly stressful. It's one or the other. Well, no, uh, no 800. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the game's bugged out. Uh, we might just have to input a shiny code here. Which, uh, I believe in putting any sort of cheat code would break crystal clear. Because of how optimized all the code is. Eight sixty-eight. Okay. Wow, we got a binary sand true here. I think that was one DV off. It was like 8, 11, 10, 10, something else. Wow, dude. It needs to be 8, 3, 10, 10, 10. It is 8, 3, 10, 10, 0. That is sad. That makes five Sandshrews one DV off. Not that it matters at all. Just extremely unfortunate. When, uh, when the rerolls are applied to the stats, does it go from right to left or left to right? 903 just to, yeah, for the karma gods. It goes left to right? Okay, that one makes a lot of sense then. It's also more efficient, I guess, since there's so many attack DVs. Uh, 
10, 4, 10? Really? That's such a specific set. We're just hoping that other mons are not like sand true. Because this is miserable. <laughs> What's amazing too is that if we were doing like a shiny Professor Oak challenge in like normal with the one in 8,192 odds, I'd be like, oh yeah, we're doing pretty good right now. That's, that's rough, yeah. Not that it matters, of course, because it's either shiny or it's not. <laughs> If we have to get the stinker out of the way, getting it out of the way at the very beginning of the run would be nice. Since we're still kind of in, maybe not the very beginning, but we're very much still in the beginning. See you, J-Ronks. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'll probably go for another hour or so, especially because we started late. I've only been streaming for an hour and a half, so. I'll see you later. Enjoy your grub. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna eat. Nice. It's been a long time of supporting Mr. Streamer Man. Here's to another month of doing amazing things on both YouTube and Twitch. Respectfully, Malik Goat Emoti Stelmo 2360 Stelmo 2 Catgum Stelmo 2 Punch Stelmo 2 SSS Stelmo 2 Jam Stelmo 2 Bog Stelmo 2 Smile. Malik, thank you so much for resubscribing for 12 months in a row, my man. Enjoy that red gem and all the emotes that go along with it. Thank you so much for the kind words. I always appreciate it. Thank you for being here and supporting the hell out of the stream, man. Definitely one of the biggest, biggest supporters and I always appreciate it. So here's to another year and beyond. Bum, 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 bum. Yo, and Niv's even cat jamming. That's a cat jam party. Oh, that's interesting that uh, the chat on screen doesn't pick up the message. Dude, and Niv's having a blast. Doing well, man. How are you? Dude, what if I went for the whole two and a half hours and didn't get a shiny sand true? That'd be so sad. The thumbnail would be very awkward. <laughs> the sand true episode. Hopefully it's self-contained. And there's no cliffhangers for the next one. That'd be miserable. There has not been a single stream yet where I have not gotten at least one shiny. It's going to happen before a thousand, though. That would just be ridiculous. I am a betting man. I should have done a max DV shiny Professor Oaks challenge. Would that have been, a, been as good, you think? If only we got that luster ball when we were... 
grinding for Iggly buff. The max DVs are a 1 in 6 right now. Flash in your energy? Let's go. Well, not to like a little shiny grind and to satiate the energy. <laughs> Some bullshit like that. Oh, very rare to see a 12 attack on a shiny. So I guess from how I understand it, that means if it's not a shiny attack value, it just keeps re-rolling until it's a shiny attack value, right? Because the re-rolls for that particular DV stop if it's a shiny value. So that means when we get like attack, uh, Attack DVs that aren't shiny DVs, that means all 12 rerolls are wasted on the attack, I'm pretty sure. Nice, dude. Thanks for the lurk, Lima. Appreciate it. Ah, the fake out. That's 514-1-1. I don't count the HP DV, which is the one to the very left, because that one's just determined by the other four. So it doesn't matter what it is. That's why on shinies, the HP DV is always eight or zero. Sandshrew, my boy. This is the cope and complain section of this run. have a method in PO6 they'll count as spoilers wait what would what I've done all stories 100% runs of PO6 on stream there's there's no spoilers for PO6 <laughs> on this channel Only no spoilers is for Sonic Shadow Generations. <laughs> Knows more than most of us? No, 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 sir. The YouTube comments know more than I do, as always. I feel like the only person that you could say knows everything about the game is Chaos. Other than that, there's always something. Yeah, YouTube comments know best. Other than I did learn yesterday that you can homing attack or jump dash into Rainbow Gem. I did not know you could do that. I thought that doing a jump dash uh, blocked all of their actions. No, I didn't. Four more for 870? I thought you guessed 868.
I guess delay. Here you go, Dark. There's your shiny sand shrew. <laughs> I'd catch it in meme, but I can't own Pokemon that aren't shinies. In three encounters? If you're right on the encounter counts, I will name the Pokemon after you. Because that is just insane luck. In before Philip starts going, it'll be the next one. It'll be the next one. It'll be the next one. All right, let's see. Number 872. Philip Sandshrew. Oh! Awkward. You get as many rings as you can, beat every robot in boxes. If you're talking about getting S ranks, then yes, that's a good way to do it. Do everything in the stage and don't get hit. I'm colorblind? Well, if I were colorblind, I'd still see the shiny animation and hear the noise. Or am I colorblind and deaf? I'm all of them. Oh. Wow, this must all be my imagination, then. Come on, Sandshrew. Before a thousand, don't embarrass yourself like that. Just, just slap on, slap on a different coat of paint if you need to. Now grab the paintbrush. Odds are one in 371. And they've been like that since Encounter 250. Yeah, just a little over odds. Almost over double. Go get food? Alright, good luck. Hope what you get is tasty. Ooh, there is a pack of... Wings I got from Aldi. Maybe I'll have that. Oh, that'd be good. Chicken wings are so fucking good, man. I hope we get the shiny before 900 encounters as well. This has been our worst shiny so far with these odds. The second worst overall. The worst one was Bulbasaur. <clears throat> I think Bulbasaur was like 1,028 or something like that. Wow! What a sand shrew. I'm surprised. Actually, I'm not surprised we haven't seen a zero DV Pokemon yet. 888, not the one. What about 889? Still not the one. What about, hear me out, 890? Nice number. Eight ninety one, prime number. At least I think it's a prime number. I don't know. Probably is. Eight ninety three. Nope. Hear me out, 1534? I hope the fuck it's not 1534. <laughs> no! That's actually two DVs off. Uh, attack DV of nine cannot be shiny. Bruh. Sandshrew is out here trolling. 1534 would be like quadruple over odds. That's like... That's like gotta be the 99th percentile.
Come on, Sandrew. Eight ninety nine is the one. Eight ninety nine. Coming up. Our shiny shrew. I got the most appropriate name for this one as well. Wow. Sand true. Bro. Sand true. Uh, yes, doubters won. All right, we're coping, chat. Before 1,000 encounters. 100 encounters to go. If the shiny appears during the prediction, it does not count. I probably should have made it a two-minute prediction, but it takes like 10 minutes to do 100 encounters, so probably more than that, actually. Was it 6.04 right now? We'll see what happens when we get to... thousand if we do I hope not what if it's like nine 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 just a troll bomb 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 what if some weird thing was going on with the emulator and it wasn't properly accounting for it Obviously, that has to be what's happening. It just can't be bad luck. Oh my god! I don't think 8 can be a shiny DB anyway. Doesn't matter. Uh, this is not the longest. The longest is Bulbasaur. This is the second longest. Currently, I have a 1 in 371 chance for any of these sand trues to be shiny. The odds change uh, because there are some mechanics that you do to make shiny hunting easier. Oh my god, it's a shiny Pokemon. Chat just got baited. It's true. Come on, Sand Shrew. It's gonna troll you guys. It's gonna it's gonna appear during the during the prediction before it's over. An hour and 38 minutes. I cannot believe it. Of just doing this. I haven't done anything else this stream. In fact, I've delayed feeding Bonzo. <laughs> I probably need to do that. I'll take a quick break at uh, 9.25 and feed him because I was supposed to do that an hour ago. Whoops. Sorry, buddy. In the bottom blue corner? Nah, you're good. No ADHD content for you. You must accept fate and pay attention. Is what's happening on screen not ADHD content? Truthfully, Bonzo is suffering because of Sandshrew, because I was going to get Sandshrew and then feed him. Come on, man. Come on! Out of Excel tournaments? Then why are you here? Then leave!
What do you want me to be doing instead? All right, 925. Excel tournaments are awesome. That's good to know. All right. I'm gonna take a quick break, chat. I just gotta feed Bonzo. I'll be gone for like a minute. I am gonna run ads so that way any folks who come in afterwards uh, will be... will not see any pre-rolls. So here we go. Quick BRB. All right, folks, apologies for that. We are back. I'm ready to get this fucking sand true, man. This is it right here? No. I was kind of hoping for first sand true back to be it. Labbing Excel routes while organizing a baby shower? Do they just, like, get things they have to do in Excel and then try to complete them as fast as possible. Do I know how many hours are in a year? Uh, I do not, but I'm sure Google does. Like a list of things to do? Oh, interesting. Sand true! This is actually bananas. I 
Actually, I'm not quite sure why max DV Pokemon are more likely than shiny Pokemon. I don't remember. I think I might need to watch the chaining explanation video again. Wait, what's Canva doing? Do they have, like, a new PowerPoint thing or something? Oh, you can, like, make just full PowerPoints with Canva now? That makes sense. I used to make my thumbnails in Canva. I can't remember when I switched over. Ah, I see. I don't think Shiny Sand True exists. I think specifically my copy of Crystal Clear is bugged to not show a Shiny, a shiny Sand True. <laughs> Welcome to what's called adapting, I believe. Yeah, I'll just, uh, blow into the cartridge real quick. Bum, 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 bum. This is some rotten luck. Like, it's just so bad. But let me tell you, it's gonna feel so good when Shiny Sand True appears. It's coming before the end of the stream. I know that for sure. We can't just have a whole stream without... Sand True, right? Without getting a Shiny. Unfortunately, I don't have any guaranteed Shinies on reserve. Guilty pleasure food? Uh, probably slutty brownies. Or, um, or like a fat stack of pancakes. Slutty brownies is brownie mix with cookie dough and Oreo. All, uh, all in one and then you bake it. Like, they're so good. 
But it's like your daily intake of sugar in one bite. <laughs> It, it sounds foo, but it is really, really, really good. Bum, 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 bum. I think the doubters are winning again here. Honestly, I have no faith. Interesting. What's up, fruits? And plopping a chunk into my cereal? Interesting. I've never considered that. That was uh, the strangest root beer float I've ever heard of. Oh, well, that Sandshrew had 110 DV in the right spot. I guess teen, 10 DVs are always in the correct spot because 10, 10, 10, 10 is one. What's up, Neff? How you doing? We are still at Santru, correct. I don't know either. Interesting. Oh yeah, and I guess if you want to make it works worse, have a slutty brownie on top. Or have ice cream on top of a slutty brownie. If you really want to die in just a couple bites, that's how you do it. <laughs> Does sugar affect your cholesterol? On the other hand, hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that is kind of what it is, isn't it? Oh my gosh. I would love to say if shiny is guaranteed at a thousand, but it's not. This is going to be the first time we've seen quadruple digits since Bulbasaur. Yeah, Sloppy Joes are still fun. I argue. To inject crispy with soft serve ice cream? Bro, that'd be insane. Oh, ha, ha. that's two DVs off, actually. Six cannot be that. We'll never recover? I'm just running away from him. So this is kind of like me just picking through a bunch of bunch of sand shrew, but it's quite literally a needle in a haystack at this point. What? That's insane. I got a multi-scale Dragonite in a hidden grotto faster than I've gotten this sand shrew. I think that only took me like 200 encounters. Yep, exactly. Just like with the Bulbasaurs, where Sandshrew doesn't have fur. It's like, it's made of rock. Or ground, I guess, because it's a ground type. Uh, Hidden Grotto in black and white, too. In the post game.
How do you hunt it? Uh, you walk in the hidden grotto. If it's not there, you walk out, refresh the hidden grotto by walking 200 steps, and then walk back in, hope it's there. At least I think it's 200 steps. Yeah, I didn't realize that was just uh, the appetizer. Yeah, you can refresh in grottos. I also got a drought Vulpix that way too. Wow. Chat, are you guys ready? There's not a chance it's in the next four. This is gonna be the first time at quadruple digits since Bulbasaur. And Bulbasaur had three times worse odds than Sandshrew does to be shiny. That is bonkers. Also, to go on a tangent, since clearly shiny Sandshrew isn't coming up, I just watched a video on Adventure Quest. You guys remember Adventure Quest? You probably don't remember just from the name, but you most definitely would remember it if you saw it. It's a very early Flash game from the early 2000s. Very early Flash game from the early 2000s. It is not shiny! Wow. 1,000. No shiny. Unbelievable. Yeah, that was a trip down memory lane, seeing the... Uh, seeing Adventure Quest again. And not even realizing just how broken that game is. All right, good night, Philip. Thanks for hanging out with us. If we get to number 1028, this will be our worst shiny. Yeah, I know, that memory unlocked for me, too. I, like, thought I knew the game, and then I saw the Zards, like, the Zard creature, and I went, oh my god. I've played this game before. And then I saw, like, the battle menu, and I was like, oh my god. Adventure quest. Yeah, can someone, uh, contact Shock Slayer here? I think his game's broken. I suck. <laughs> Thank you. Nothing like a little morale boost on a completely RNG based task. Well, you know what, Dark Nero? You suck because you didn't get me any food. Yep, exactly. I'm just messing. I am too. But I called you out. Social interaction, baby. I think I need to get another light over here. Because my, my uh, face over here is pretty dark. Not over here, because... It probably would make more sense if I put the light on the other side, maybe. Yeah, I bet you got something good, too. Like Taco Bell. Bro, I, I have to be done in half an hour. I'm actually concerned this might be our first no shiny day. That would be so sad. I genuinely didn't think we were going to have a whole day where we didn't shiny. Sweet money. <laughs> what, what kind of food am I going to get with 10 cents? <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 bits, though. I appreciate it. In this economy? Mm. 
bottle episodes? Wait, what does that mean? I mean, I'm down, man. I'll take the 20 gift subs. Fair enough. The unfortunate thing is that it's not going to happen. Oh my god, five more sand true. No! That can't be shiny. Uh, 14 is not an attack DV. Dude, I'm trying. Maybe, maybe I just need to reset the game. Let me, let me reset the game. Maybe we just gotta reset the RNG, you know? Oh, I see. Scuffed stream? Dude, a Niv knows. Sand true. My man. My man. Officially the worst or I guess longest shiny encounter now. Officially. Possible to get all zeros? Yes, but it's extremely unlikely. Especially because I chained for Sandshrew. I wonder what the chance for an all zeros is when you have a max chain. 12 rerolls. We need assisted living. There actually is a special animation that plays if it's all zeros. So, who knows, maybe we'll get to see it. Correct. Zero is not a shiny attack, EV. I would not be able to catch it. Yeah, he keeps... Snorlax keeps running into battle. He's like, oh, I'm ready. Wait, why are we running? Motherfucker's like a twilight vampire, though, with how much he's sparkling. Correct. We still could get a zero attack DV. A couple sand trues ago, we did have a zero attack DV. No! I actually think we did catch Snorlax like 10 hours in. Come on, Sandrew. Come on. My man. The Sandman. <laughs> the shiny Pokemon Society, they're all just hiding now. It is truly a shame that I cannot get the unknown tablet. Because in order to complete that side quest, I'd have to catch all the letters of unknown, but only I and V can be shiny. Because if we could get the unknown tablet, I could get 30 free shinies. Which is literally like a quarter of all the shinies I would need to get. Oh no, he's on 10,000. I hope to not get the 10,000. I didn't make the layout go that high. I don't even know if the program I'm using to keep track of the encounters can go that high. Sam True, where are you, dude? I'm hunting in a different location. I mean, that doesn't change anything. 
Or do you just want the, uh... Different music. Get every shiny... Every letter after you get shiny Ivy? Well, I will not be getting another unknown. I already have unknown, and it was with a guaranteed shiny. What? You're not listening to the encounter over and over again? Alright, we'll go to Mount Moon. What's, uh, what's Sandshrew's Mount Moon? Twenty percent, yeah, so it's still one hundred percent encounter. As long as it's ten percent or higher, uh it's a one hundred percent encounter rate with sweet scent, so <laughs> all right. Here we go. Maybe this population of Sandshrew is shiny. What if it's the very first one? Alright, there we go. Different music. Maybe it'll help. Because we know that if we get the shiny, sh the shiny Sandshrew here, it was all because of the music. DVs off there. Doesn't really matter. We've currently gotten five Sandshrew that are one DV off from being shiny. I'm misleading. That, uh, only had one shiny DV. Again, not that it matters, because Sandshrew is going to be a completely different color. And sparkle, so. Oh! Sand true. I want to go home. I do to deserve this. I started the stream late. Going <laughs> Super Saiyan. Yep, the Super Saiyan video. God, not even the 1069. Sand true. Where are you? Please appear. My dear. Get your act together, Sand true. Yep, exactly. This one, this one's dying. That was all my, all my anger. Snorlax was just happy to finally attack one. Oh, 
as a treat. Yeah, Pichu's actually losing happiness right now because it's been so long. This is my worst, like, shiny hunting odds in Crystal Clear. Like, I've never taken this long to find a shiny. I mean, granted, outside of this challenge, I use speed up, but... Even then, I think it's only, like, 2x. Rope skip? Is that just a fancy way of saying jump rope? True. I have to I have to replenish my gum. It ran out of flavor. Shout outs to generic gum brand. Might be the British term, huh? Oh. Come on. I don't think we're getting that, uh, that 20 bomb. At 1,111, I will make a wish for 1,112 to be the shiny sand true. And let me just, uh, let me manipulate some game code off screen real quick. Uh. Let me just, uh. Let me just do some quick, um. Here, I, I got this, I got this. We'll just, uh... Oh, what? Wait, why can't you... Why is this not visible? Oh, there we go. I don't know what just happened there. I'm, uh, I'm putting in, I'm putting in the code, chat. This is, uh, this is how you get shiny. Shiny Pokemon in Crystal Clear. Alright, and... Enter. Alright. Next. Next one is shiny. How do I get out of this? There we go. Oh my god, Axe. <laughs> I actually brought up the debugger for, uh, Crystal Clear. I didn't mean to do that. Or for BGB, I guess. Do you not know what that is? That's uh that's hackertyper.net. Used it all the time in elementary school to scare our teachers. I'm happy it still exists. Just no matter what key input you type, it makes it look like you're, like, coding and hacking into the... whatever. Like, just like the inspect element. Thank you, Munjar. 
Uh, yeah. Thank you. My odds are currently 1 in 371 right now. And this is how long we're taking on Sandshrew. The worst shiny hunt so far, which is hilarious because I had to shiny hunt for my starter. And my starter shiny odds was a 1 in 1024. And it was faster than this one. Yeah, it's, uh, this isn't good. I don't know, man. I don't know what's going on. I got 11 more encounters to get a shiny for a sub bomb, though. Let me tell you, though, when this sh sand shrew appears, it's gonna be great. You know, I'm getting hungry. I can't wait to eat. Got about 15 more minutes of the stream, so open, open Sandshrew shows up. Or this is going to be the worst filler episode ever. It's DBs, yeah. What you going to get? Um, because I'm going out of town this weekend, I'm not spending any money on, like, eating out. Uh, so I'll probably either have some chickpea pasta, chicken wings, something like that. I'm actually probably going to do chickpea pasta because I'm low on my protein for today. I've only had uh, 20. Is my protein powder? My protein powder is 30 grams of protein. So I've had 20, 50. I've only had 70. I need to get to 100. They'll be streaming during the weekend? Nope. Because I will not be here. <laughs> Gamer of Days, I recommend checking out the Twitch Shills channel in the Discord. Anytime I'm doing something out of the ordinary, I will, uh... I always post in there. You can also grab yourself the Twitch Enjoyer role in the Rules and Rolls channel. So that way, whenever I ping it, you get the notification. You know what's going on? <sighs> Especially because I just had to drop 150 bucks on uh, Bonzo's shot. Here we go! Can I quit this challenge? Is that a thing? My wish is for the next one to be shiny. If you have the Twitch Enjoyer role, then you can, in my server, in Twitch Shills, you can look right up here. This is the schedule for 9.16 through 9.23. An hour-ish late, lol. Nice. Like that happened. Neff, thank you so much for the five bomb. Was it the five bomb? Thank you. Appreciate that, dude. Hello, Speeds. Ah, you are now Sonic Game Boy. Or you were previously Sonic Game Boy. Welcome back, man. <laughs> oh boy, a consolation prize for doing nothing? Dude, I really hope to not make it to 1337. This is one DV off. It needs to be 8, 11, 10, 10, 10. This is 8, 11, 0, 10, 10. Come on!
I genuinely hope this never, ever happens again. Sorry for what happened last time. Oh yeah, that's right, I did unban you. I remember this. No worries, man. Usually about every six months I go in and unban people. So, welcome back. Get all S ranks in Project 06? Hey. Don't forget to use the S rank guide if you're having trouble with any of them. That I posted on, uh, about a week ago. True, true. <laughs> Alright, bye, Violas. Thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it, it seems. Thankfully, I don't even have to look at the screen, because I... Uh... I can't run away from the shiny, no matter what. It doesn't allow me. Unless I accidentally use return and kill it, but... My muscle memory has it to where I let go of the button uh, once Sweet Set starts. I'm currently shiny hunting. Oh, dude! Not again. That is seven sand trues that were one DV off. I'm constantly encountering this Pokemon to eventually try to find a Pokemon that sparkles like mine does. And I'm doing that for every Pokemon in the game. Is the short of it. Again, not that it matters, because of, of course it's a 50% chance. Either it happens or it doesn't. Flying Battery, nice. Good song. Hopefully it's the Mania rendition. The original version existed, so... <laughs> the original version walks so that Mania could run. We are now at 80 subs because Nefiston was generous enough to drop a 5-bomb. Which I very much appreciate. Shouldn't take too long. Shut the hell up, Aniv. You don't know the pain of being human. I was so excited. I was like, we already got Max Chain on Sandshrew. I'm sure it'll take like an hour. And here we are. Thank you. Thank you. This is so bad. I know, right? I can't just encounter like 8,000 sand trues at once. This is almost getting me to the point where I want to just like load up four instances of Crystal Clear. <laughs> because, uh, because keyboard will work out of focus. So I can just duplicate my save file and then just roll with the save file that has it on it. Bless the 31st next sand true. Thank you. Thank you for the level one hype train as well, Neff. You did not have to do that, but I really appreciate it.
Disposable income is four. Oh, I mean, if you got more disposable income, send it my way. We need to beef up those sub numbers, get that new stage modded, so. I'm excited though for, uh, I'm excited for October. I've got some fun stuff planned. I'm gonna have to get it all set up. The next Stumble98 video is gonna be coming out at the beginning of the month. And then, uh, we're gonna be cooking on shadow themed stuff up until the release. Your usual money sink? Oh, is that another, uh, streamer? That's awesome. I hope, uh, not financial advice, but being able to put some stuff in savings for you. Give yourself a little bit more freedom. Oh, I see. Um, action figures? <laughs> Tabletop Wargaming? That sounds awesome. They're not toys, they're amiibo. Oh my god, one DV off again! That is the eighth Sandshrew, one DV off. Watchers have even worse luck on the Nidorans, even though they have better odds. Because the Nidorans, both Nidoran male and female, are in the Safari Zone. And when you're in the Safari Zone in this game, it has two extra... rerolls. Yep, the beginning of this battle theme is really good. Has to be with how often you're encountering stuff. Ah, gotcha. Warhammer, I've heard of that, but I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Maybe. I have no idea what that means, but I'll just, I'll go along with it. I'll go, hmm, yeah, yeah. Undertale, yeah, mm -hmm. I know what Undertale is, but I've never played it, nor plan to. Megalovania is a banger song, though. We got three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, Undertale was quite a phenomenon, wasn't it? And there just wasn't anything about Undertale that interested me at all. Yep, stream's gonna end in three minutes. I usually go for about three to four hours, but today was awkward because I had to send Bonzo on an uh, appointment. Normally I end the stream at six central time, which is about an hour ago, but I wanted to go longer since I started later, or go to seven since I started later. I can't believe it. Yep, Bonzo.
a Vermintide? I have not uh, heard of Vermintide. I've only heard of Warhammer. All right, we're gonna go to 1180 and that's going to be it for today. I have. I've actually, I'm actually planning on playing the Mega Man X D-Make tomorrow. Um, I've played through it, played through it once, but, uh, it was a really bad playthrough, so I'm gonna play through it again. But I love Mega Man, specifically the X series. I've played the, I played Mega Man 2, never finished Mega Man 2, and I've played all the Zero games and all the ZX games. But Mega Man X, specifically X1, X2, X3, X4, and X3 with the Zero mod. And then, um... X4, and then the X8 D-Make are my favorite Mega Man style games. Well, technically my favorite Mega Man style game is Gravity Circuit, but... Yeah. Alright, one more for the road. Or I guess four more for the road. We'll do this one, and then we'll do the last one. I promise I can stop whenever I want. Alright, last one here to have a nice number to end on. Alright. Wow. First stream, day 12. If it was day 13, I would have been a little bit more suspicious. But that is it, folks. The first stream of the challenge where I did not get a single shiny Pokemon. Wow. Well, I still hope regardless of the conversation and the chance to get a shiny Pokemon was interesting for you guys. I will be back with more Pokemon on Thursday, but normally I stream every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. CST. So if you turn the clock back wherever you are in the world, turn it back four hours, and that's normally when I start. I'll be live at that time tomorrow with some Sonic Project 06 speedrunning, and then I will follow that up with the Mega Man X D-Make. And then on Thursday, I will be doing more Pokemon. Now, normally I stream Monday through Friday, uh, but this Friday and this following Monday, I will not be streaming uh, because I will be gone in a different town for a wedding. But I really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I love the Pokemon days. So if you're on the YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.